Hi everyone, Comic Reviewy here, this time reviewing on For the Dark World. Now, For the Dark World is meant to be a sequel to the 2011 film Fall, as well as continuing after the events of The Avengers, as well as showing the after effects of Loki's actions during the Battle of New York, and and as well sort of setting up up, up the whole Infinity Stone storyline. So the premise of the film is meant to take place sometime sometime after the events of the Avengers. We see how Loki is now imprisoned for his crimes on Earth. We see how Thor and the other Asgardians are dealing with rebel marauders on Fenenhem as well as now dealing with not only a new threat known as Malekith and the Dark Elves. Now, Malekith, I would say, works as a villain, but at the same time, I think he feels like a more stereotyped villain. Like, his goal is to plunge the Earth back into internal darkness, and really, I feel his character doesn't really feel sympathetic. He doesn't really feel like like a kind of connection to him. I think what makes a villain work, you want your audience to understand why they're the way they are, why they feel like they are in the right when they're not. So, of course, we do see how Thor, Jane Foster, and even Loki join forces to take down Malekith, as well as trying to save the day. I think what the film gets right at is showing the after effects of Jane Foster and Fall's relationship. We see how both of them do miss each other, and you can kind of tell Jane Foster is justifiably annoyed with Fall for leaving, but she's not Amber from Invincible Bad. Like, you can understand that Fall has duties on Asgard, and you can kind of tell Fall knows he knows that he has responsibilities on Asgard, as well as having to deal with the effects of Loki's actions. And I think for the most part I would say the film's pacing feels a bit too slow, and doesn't really take properly to see how characters react to their actions. Like, I kind of feel with, with Fool's mother's death, you could have had it that Odin goes in, in a sort of drunken, depressed state, knowing that he's now lost another family member, which could probably have worked well. And I think for the most part, I would say, yeah, the villain's death does feel a little too silly, and doesn't really feel rewarded. And I think for the most part, I would say, the film for The Dark World seems to copy too much from Man of Steel, where character has a goal to sort of, to sort of, like, attack on Earth. We basically see how characters kind of battle in a sort of large populated city. We basically see how Asgard and even Krypton have the same similar technological feel. And it's kind of shown that, yeah, Malekith and the Dark Elves are a lot like General Zod and his followers. So I wouldn't be surprised if a writer from Marvel was looking at some of the, the planned stuff from Man of Steel. But I feel at least with Man of Steel, you could kind of see what Snack Schneider was trying to do. He had a story he wanted to tell. And I think he really did brought Superman to life. I think when you look at the director, Alan Taylor, as well as you had Christopher Yost, who did work on the on, on his own animated universe with Avengers Earth's Mice Heroes, you can kind of tell the team didn't really put too much effort in their work. And I think for the most part, I would say, if I was to direct the movie, I would have still had... Um, the Enchantress and Magog as the main villains. I would have had it that Loki and a group of marauders join forces 
to sort of take over Asgard now that their defensives have now weakened. I would have had it for the main villains to be the, en the, the Enchanters free, as well as having the new villain, main villain, be Ymir, as well as being sort of like Loki's uncle, who sort of would rise the Marauders to sort of take on Asgard, and even have it fall with a, a, a difficult position about taking responsibility as the new king. But no, we were stuck with something that tries to copy Man of Steel, despite the fact that the two films came out in a different month of the year. So in my opinion, For the Dark World is a mix of good ideas, poorly done, slow pacing, and not really having a believable villain who is taken down so easily. So I think this film definitely deserves a thumbs down. Not good, not great, but not alright. So, Comic Viewer here, signing out.